Welcome. Uh, today we are on question number 13. And on question number 13, this is a question on angle properties of polygons. So the question reads, each interior angle of a regular polygon is 120 degrees larger than the exterior angle. How many sides has the polygon? So the solution to this, first of all, uh, we need to identify that the sum of interior and exterior angles of a regular polygon should be 180 degrees. So first we can let an interior angle be x and exterior angle be y. So we are told each interior angle of a regular polygon is 120 larger than the exterior angle. So that means an interior angle is more than an exterior angle by 20, 120 degrees. So you take interior angle X minus an exterior angle Y, that should give you 120 degrees. Another thing we also need to remember is that the sum of interior and exterior angle should be 180 degrees. So if this is the first equation we get, the second equation will be the sum of the interior and exterior angles, that is x plus y, which should be 180 degrees. So that gives us the second equation. So we have a set of simultaneous equations. So from this point we solve, you can either use elimination method or substitution method. So I'm going to apply elimination method and for this case I want to eliminate y so for y to be eliminated it simply means we will add so we have a negative and a positive we only eliminate by adding so that we have y minus y so adding equation 1 to equation 2 what you're simply going to have will be x plus x that is 2x negative y plus positive y that is 0 and on the right hand side 120 plus 180 that should give us 300 so that means 2x is 300 and therefore x is 150 so from here, x we know is an interior angle. We now need to get the value of an exterior angle. That is y. So we'll have y obtained as, so y obviously should be x minus 120, that is using the first equation so that we have y is equal to 150 minus 120 and that is 30 degrees so from here we can now get the number of sides that the polygon has so the number of sides is usually given by simply having so n represents the number of sides so that will be 360 divided by the value of an exterior angle, of which in this case is y. So we are going to have 360 divided by 30. So that finally n becomes 12 sides. So that's it for this question. Thanks for your patience and 
Thank you for watching up to this time. See you next time.